Good morning, friends. Happy Thursday, June 30th, I believe. It's the Thursday before the 4th of July, which is on Monday. I just got done with a workout, hence the way that I look. But I wanted to start this vlog here, say good morning, and let you know that I just discovered a new consignment store here locally, and I wanna bring you guys along with me. So in the last thrift along video, I told you that I was looking for some summer tops and some sundresses, and I'm still looking for those things. We weren't that successful last time of going shopping, so I thought we could check it out together for the first time. And hopefully, because the 4th of July is a few days away, I would love to find a festive outfit so we will see what we can find if you hear my lovely wind chimes they're right here <laughs> i'm gonna go in go get ready for the day and then i will see you guys at the store So that was a lot of fun. The prices might be just a little bit more expensive than like your average thrift store, but really not bad. I did find a casual dress. It was $7.99 and then a tank for $2.99. I will try these on whenever I get home. I'm definitely excited to have a new store. I love supporting local businesses and yeah, it's like a very nice, clean, well put together store. I have to do something that I put off doing and that is running into Walmart, but we're out of like some essentials and just got to do it so we're gonna run into Walmart for a few minutes my sister actually told me that they were having like end of season clearance on clothes and shoes so I might browse really quickly in there and then we will go home and I will try these things on for you let me show you what I picked up and then we will do a quick try on I really did like that consignment store it was very well organized they had pretty good prices and I just like seeing new local businesses pop up so we will definitely be visiting it there again. So I got one tank top and that is this one here. And the price was amazing. It was $2.99. This is Liz Claiborne. So I believe JC Penny. Is JC Penny still even open? I know our JC Penny closed locally. I don't remember if they all closed or if some of them stayed open, but Anyway, uh, this is just a very casual tank. I thought with like some high waisted or some mom jeans, this could look really cute. And then I also picked up this dress. Now, like I said, the 4th of July is on Monday. I'm filming this on Thursday. I thought this could definitely be dressed up to be very patriotic, but not only will I wear on the 4th, I think this is something that I will find myself wearing multiple times. Very like loose fitting, very comfortable. The brand is Velvet Heart. I'm not exactly sure where that's from, but this was $7.99. I will try both of these on. Oh, and I mentioned I also ran into Walmart. They did have several things marked down on clearance. I did pick up these shoes here. I just love these slide type shoes. I wear them all the time and these were half off. So original $16.98. Uh, $9 so I guess I should say almost half off but they had a bunch of different colors and the thing I've noticed about Walmart when it comes to clearance is they will gradually start marking things down so I might go back in in a few more weeks and see if these are marked down even more because they had like four different colors and I would actually like to have all of them if you have a Walmart be sure to go in and check it out because they have started marking down things anyway let's try these on I thought that this was just a really cute casual everyday summer tank like i said $2.99 and i think that you could even put like a nice jacket over this to wear as layering piece i really liked this contrast of like the texture and then the white and the beige i can do a full body shot so you guys can kind of get the whole picture but yeah item number one All right so item number two it's like very loose and i'm just realizing it's kind of like that oversized t-shirt feel i feel like this deserves a fedora just one second I feel like this just kind of helps elevate the look. And the one thing about me is I'm between 5'7 and 5'8, so I really appreciate how it's longer in the back. $7.99. It's very comfortable. I love that it has pockets, and I just feel like this is one of those dresses that you could grab and you could go to the park or you could go to church or you could probably even like wear it to work, but it can definitely be dressed up or dressed down. I really like it, and I think it just screams summer. Switching gears, I'm outside, obviously. I try to get so much done while Eli's napping, so I do like a big chunk at a time, and then there's like a gap and then another chunk but anyway I spray painted the vase that I thrifted last week it's just 
the matte black Rustolia matte black spray paint I use that all the time I will link it down below if you want to buy it online but I think I'm gonna go in with the mud trick and give this thing some texture it might still be too dark I don't really have any black in my kitchen so I don't know a lot of the video tutorials that I watched I started with the matte black and then they just added um, lighter tones to that so we're gonna give that a try and see what it looks like This is after our mud has dried. I'm just gonna go in with a towel and wipe it off and see how it looks and if we need to add any more. And this is how the vase turned out. I know that this mud technique has been used in so many videos, but I absolutely love it. I think that it adds a nice little touch to our kitchen. This is really why I love thrifting and doing easy thrift flips here on the channel. They're just so fun and I always love seeing the end result. Good morning and a happy Saturday, July 2nd. I did not vlog at all yesterday, I don't believe, but I thought I would just take you guys along with me a little bit today because we're heading to a red, white, and blue festival, and we're actually going out of town for the 4th. So today is Saturday. We're leaving tomorrow, which is the 3rd, and we're gonna go to Kansas City for the 3rd and the 4th to spend time with David's side of the family. But we are still here locally today, and my sister's coming over, and we're gonna go take advantage of these local activities. So I think there's a parade, a farmer's market, probably just some other little things going on downtown. Eli and I are both kind of dressing a little festive. Come here, Eli, show them your outfit. I had thrifted this as part of a $5 bag sale, and it's a little bit big, but it's, it's blue, and he's got a white t-shirt, and he's got his red little bib on, and I just think he looks so adorable and so festive, and I'm just wearing some thrifted pants myself. So anyway, uh, my sister should be here soon, and then we will go to that. I don't know how this is gonna work because the parade starts right at Eli's nap time, so it could be interesting. made a delicious BLT with those fresh tomatoes we got from the farmer's market. Oh, I'm so, so excited. And you guys, I curled my hair this morning and this is how humid it is in Missouri. Like there's, there's just nothing left. But anyway, I was trying to think how I wanted to end this vlog or if I want to end it here. But like I mentioned, we're going out of town the next few days and I don't know if I'm going to film. If I do film, I will include some of that footage after this. But if not, I'm just gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you have a wonderful 4th of July with your families. And if you're not yet subscribed and you enjoy just coming along and hanging out with me, I would love for you guys to subscribe. It really does mean so much and I love getting to know people here on the channel. So like I said, I'm going to enjoy this BLT. I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.